Hey, uh, good day everyone. I brought uh, a new one along. Got a, a new old guy. Not new to me, but if you're not familiar with uh, Grand Power pistols, um, they're an excellent gun. So I'm a big fan of the Ground Power pistols and the Steyr Manlicker pistols, as well as other ones. I mean, I got a SIG right here. Um, so this is the Grand Power. Uh, Grand Power is more or less more well known as a European uh, gun manufacturer. This is their P11, so this would be equivalent to kind of like their micro, not really a micro, but a um, sub carry gun, right? So it's their Mark 12 series. Um, I know this looks like that shiny, cheap Chinesium, but it's not. These uh, releases work uh, excellent. They're ambidextrous everything. The mag catch. Use either finger. I will say uh, you do need to train with these guns if you ever get one. The trigger is um, wow. There's just a lot, uh, not a lot of wall. The reset and the take up and everything is really short. Um, so if you carry something like this, um, if you're not familiar with that trigger, I would suggest not carrying it with one in the tube. I know that's uh, counter to what all the the gunfighter guys say, but um, that trigger is is light uh, comparatively, um, so just be aware of that. The other thing too, as you can see, it's got a hammer here, so it's not striker fired, it's hammer fired. Um, unlike the SIG P320 here, that is striker fired. So I got this out because what I wanted to demonstrate or show you was that this uh, company, which I'll put a picture up, um, uh, whole guns on Amazon sells this holster for the TLR seven, uh, a one, I think it is, um, for like $22. Now I cut this out, uh, you know, so it won't come like that. It'll, it'll come all the way up, but I cut this out to fit the P320. Um, however, for various reasons, and maybe another time I'll explain why, but um, I thought I would like the P320 and I would carry it every day. However, there are things and aspects about it that it, for me, I don't like compared to this. Uh, this gun is, um, in my opinion, more reliable. I, I, I prefer, if I'm going to carry these, I, I would choose this over the SIG P320. And that's just my own personal preference. This trigger is real short. I, you know, it, um, I put this trigger in. It, it's awesome. It, it, it's short. However, bullets on target, this is more accurate than this. Uh, for some reason, no matter what I do with SIG guns, I shoot to the left and low all the time. I switch over to my Steyr, or I switch over to this, and you guys are seeing the videos. The Steyr gun, dead on. This thing, to the left, I, no matter what I do. But that's beside the point. I didn't want to get into that. What I want to get into are the lights, and mainly, I was looking at this holster option for guys who are looking for something cheap. This is $22, it's on Amazon. I'll put a picture. It's really, you know, just simple Kydex. If you're looking for something real thick, it's not. Functional, yes it is. So, um, the nice thing is you can tighten it down if you want. You can remove these rubber uh, bushings in there or cut them in half and make it smaller to get even tighter on your gun if that's if you really got to have that kind of grip um, I don't feel I'm in a situation. I need that this um, What I was going to show you is that this site and I'm going to talk about it later I'm not going to really talk about it today. I bought this thing and it's I don't know like $25 30 bucks Maybe more. I, I don't remember and I don't remember the lumens on it However, it has an internal battery, charges from the back, that'd be one downfall, but it's easy to take on and off. So what I want to show you here, gun's clear, guns are clear, yeah, yeah, see. And um, I'm gonna close them up. Okay, so when you go to put this in, this is actually made for the SIG P320 with the TLR7A1 Lite. Um, doesn't quite fit. So you see down in there, mainly this is more square and doesn't have these, this cutout. 
so it won't fit in there. However, if you had this light and you wanted it to fit, you could heat this section up with a, maybe with a real hot hair dryer or blow torch or whatever, get that hot and you could just push that into place and get it to form fit to the site if you really wanted to and you were really constrained on budget that's what i would do make it fit what i need and that's that's what i do with all my stuff i buy something that's relatively close and then i modify it for what i need uh because that's how you save money save money you can buy bullets uh so i just want to show you that the site comes off real easy the other reason i have this out the grand power, if you don't have a grand power holster, which for grand powers, it's hard to find in the waistband holsters. And this is a right hand in the waistband, but it does, it's a little loose. Uh, it, it's not so grippy here, but if you're carrying it down your pants, your gun's not gonna go anywhere unless you get turned upside down. So, you know, it's there. Um, this holster has some wiggle room but it will work for your the Grand Power pistols. Not just this one, the, the P1 will work. Um, I've, I've tried a bunch of them. The Q1 will work. <clears throat> the Q1S will work. They'll all work in this holster for 22 bucks. So if you're out there looking for a holster for the Grand Power, uh, this P321, if you have a TLR7, might be a good choice for you. If That's the hardest thing is trying to find holsters Designed for lights for the guns that you have and when you buy oddball things like a grand power like I do it, It's difficult to find these things. So I search far and wide for what works for me and so you'll um, You'll want to uh, take a look at that uh, later. I'll get into my grand power guns and Tell you I think them, um, but there's some good videos already out there on them that really explain the functionality of these um, maybe I'll do something that, uh, explains more, but for right now, I'm not going to, I just want to talk about this holster will work for the grand power. So next the, uh, TLR one, this is all the money I've got in my bank. So, you know, if you could donate to bullets on the link, you know, below my name, that would be great. So I just want to show you guys a dime will fit in there a quarter. Doesn't have a lot of bite, but in a pinch, a quarter could work. A nickel fits perfect right in there. And the old penny, Abraham Lincoln. He'll work in there for getting that out of there. In this case, I just use a nickel. And because I'm going to put it on the uh, P320, so I can show you um, how it fits in there and locks in pretty good. Think I don't need to change the the uh, insert for the rail on there. Yeah. Um, so you can see that TLR 7s on there pretty good. I'm on the struggle bus right now. Of course, you could always use a standard screwdriver and just you know put that in there and get it to work. So now we have it off. We'll put this guy on here. Um, no, no, I got to take it out one more. So unfortunately that guy's going to sit out there like so. And I'm going to use a regular screwdriver and make a mess of it. Um, and this also gives you a chance to see what the TR7 looks like on here, at least on a carry uh, frame. So I can, you know, reach it. Just a, I'll really quick to show you guys the lights. So you see the two? And my finger's over one, but this is like 800 lumens. And uh, I, I would pretty much say it is. So I'm gonna guess this is probably like five. Uh, anyhow, fits in there like so. It's um, snug and uh, locks into the front. Uh, keeps your stuff out of the way. And you can see I, I cut that too deep, but yeah, I'm not gonna cry about it. So you can always use that on there. And then this little guy can go on here, but really, if I need, I can run 
this setup and that's fine too. I'd rather have more light, but the nice thing is this can easily be taken off and the uh, plug-in is right under this rubber piece. So this thing uh, does work good. It also has strobe. Pretty cool. Uh, anyhow, donate. <laughs> Donations would be great and much appreciated. I'd like to do some more shooting and um, yeah, my, my budget's not getting higher and bullets are getting more expensive. So it'd be helpful. Also, if you could uh, subscribe, uh, that would be great. And if you could uh, comment below, help me out. Um, you know, all that YouTube, YouTuber stuff. Um, that would be awesome. 22 bucks, I'll put a picture of this thing um, at the end of the video uh, so you can see it because they don't let me put links on there. I might link this thing pre the other video. I'm gonna make a video with the various um, lights I have so you can see the difference of the output, the TLR1, the TLR7A1, the, this Trica, Trica, and the, uh, I think it was, what was it, the Vitato uh, $35 uh, light. Um, yeah. So we, that's what we got. Uh, thanks for tuning in. You have a great day.